you're just being delighted with the way your your side never gave up there. No, we had a horrific start to the game, first 15, 20 minutes, especially the first 10 minutes, we, we were really poor. I mean, I was so angry at the goal because I keep harping on about set pieces and uh, told him how good a player uh, Swanky was before the game and how he loves to cut on his right foot. And, and uh, we went to sleep, we were too busy organising for the bigger guys at the back post and we switched off to their best player. And uh, and then we were kind of all over the place for a wee while because it did another setback where we went behind again early. It's happened in about three or four games recently. So, but the one thing we, we have got is a lot of guts. And I would say after 20 minutes, I thought we controlled the rest of the game. I thought I thought we played really well. We got our, our two goals deservedly uh, in the first half. and, and uh, you know, we lost another goal to a set piece and equaliser, and we could have again got our heads done, but we, we come back again, and, and uh, all credit to the players. Is that kind of what you've been looking for from Gary McDonald, those, that kind of adding adding to the goals as well as. The Gary scored, goals? did he? Yeah. I thought it was the head job, didn't <laughs> uh, I mean, Ga no, Gary's, I mean, that's his third goal since he came, and uh, I, I, thought, I thought he played well the whole game. Gary, well, you know, nobody played well initially, but. I thought he'd done really well, uh, used his experience well, controlled a lot of the game. Uh, but delighted if he's if he's got the goal. He has got a knack for it. I mean, he, he gets into some great positions in the box. But, uh, you know, in general, I'm just happy that, that, again, we had the guts to come back for a, a, a negative situation. But really, they, they need to stop it happening. And, uh, say, when we lost the second goal, I thought, here we go again. But, we, you know, we came back. You said all along, Jim, that every team's capable of beating one another here and it, it was another case in point because it's four for could have gone top. I know, exactly. Uh, and that's why it's such a good league. I mean, I think it's quite enjoyable. The games are pretty open and uh, you do get punished for every mistake. I mean, probably we played in the league last year where we get away with a lot of stuff. And, uh, you know, that probably comes back to haunt us to a certain extent where, you know, we're a wee bit slacker than we should be and we really need to tighten up. And... Uh, and that's what I mean. The thing that bemused me about the second goal was why they get a free kick. They tell me it was for a handball after the linesman saying it certainly wasn't for a handball. So, uh, but that was that was by the by. I'm just delighted with the win. And we can follow that one up on Saturday when Stirling Albion come here to be a double bonus, really. Breaking. Breaking. Breaking, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> No, if we can, I mean, breaking our what, 17 games unbeaten, so yeah. it's a good challenge for us and, and uh, it would be a big game to win. It would put us back in the mix again. So, really, as I said before, we, I think we are United losing the night. It, we don't need to maybe keep look, looking over our shoulders so we can we can just, as I said, we'll, do, we'll, we'll just go for it. And we've got a good selection of forward players there. I'm bringing on McAllister and Riley subs and... and uh, the two that, that come off it done really well and I know Andy Rogers is in good form at the minute so you know we're, we're in good shape.